All right, everyone, starting with 3.60 moles of CO, calculate the number of moles of CO2 produced if there is enough oxygen gas to react with all of the CO. So this is going to be a moles to moles stoichiometry problem. The problem says starting with 3.60 moles of CO. So that's what we're going to start with. 3.60 moles of carbon monoxide. And we want moles of CO2. So we want to end up with moles of carbon dioxide. So since we're going moles to moles, this is only one step, one conversion, where we're converting what we're starting with, moles of carbon monoxide, into moles of carbon dioxide. We're calculating how much carbon dioxide would be produced if all 3.60 moles of carbon monoxide react. So we need to know the ratio. The ratio here is going to be our coefficients. For every two COs that react, we get two CO2s produced. So those numbers, those coefficients, that is our ratio. So for carbon monoxide, we're going to put a 2 in our conversion factor. And for carbon dioxide, we're also going to put a 2. We got those from the chemical equation. So when we do the math, we're going to do 3.60 times the top of our conversion factor, 2, divided by the bottom of our conversion factor, also 2. And we're going to be left with exactly what we started with, 3.60 moles of CO2 and that makes sense because for every two COs we get two CO2s. So final answer for 3.6 moles of carbon monoxide reacting how many moles of carbon dioxide will be produced? 3.60 moles of CO2. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.